Honorable Vice Chancellor, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Professor D. Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Dr. B. Suresh Kumar, Assistant Director, DDFT Trade, Srimadhi Mary Teknama. A warm welcome to all of you. On behalf of Spices Board, I stand before you to accept me which is conducting in TNA. We have the culinary purpose. We know that we are using spices for our daily routine culinary purpose. Other than spices are used in ethnic medicine like Ayurveda, Siddha, nutraceuticals, cosmeceutical, pharmaceutical and other uh, uses are for natural colors, dyes, flavors, beverages, wellness, health system and health sectors and also some preservatives. So a wide range of uses are there for spices. And the immunoboosting property of spices like the ginger pepper, cardamom, turmeric and all. We know that during pandemic we are all depending on this type of uh, spices for our boosting the immunity. And Western world world also very much interested to accept our uh, traditional system during the COVID pandemic. And uh, there is a boost for this type of uh, all the spices, immunity, immunity boosting spices across the world during pandemic also. Spices are growing in India as most cash crop and rural population in those four areas growing mainly depending on corn cut spice cultivation for their livelihood. Moreover, spices contribute for earning foreign exchange to the country and Indian spice export across the milestone of 4 billion US dollars in the recent years. And uh, Tamil Nadu is one of the major contributors to the export basket accounting about one-fifth of the country's spice export. Considering the importance of Tamil Nadu in the spice export sector, Spice Export and the Ministry of Commerce and Industry uh, is recognized today's BSM at the prestigious Institute of Tamil Nadu Agriculture University in Coimbatore. Spice Export is grateful to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Madam, for accepting our proposal for conducting the bioseller meet in this university campus and uh, uh, this flagship program jointly by Spices Board and Tamil Nadu Agriculture University and this is the first step and uh, we expect that uh, this university will be uh, ready, um, further for encouraging this type of bioseller meet in future course also. With this short introduction, I move uh, to the official welcome uh, the gathering to this auspicious occasion. We are extremely honored to have with us Honorable Vice Chancellor of TNAU, Professor Dr. P. Gita Lakshmi. She has been very kind enough to accept the proposal and provide all possible support to organize the program. In spite of her busy schedule, Madam is very enthusiastic to be a part of the event and be among us. I also extend my warm welcome to Director Agri Business Development, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Dr. E. Somasundaram, who has been an active involvement in the successful organization and conducting of this program. I extend my warm welcome. Agriculture Extension of okay, Engineering. Okay, sir. Thank, welcome, sir. I express my hearty welcome to the exporters, processors, agri-entrepreneurs, representatives from MPO and progressive farmers to this event. I hope today's buyer-seller meet will provide you opportunity to direct and effective business engage. I also heartily welcome the scientists of TNAU, professors, and all the dean uh, of this uh, university and officers of uh, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, State Agriculture University, and the other line department and colleagues from Spices Board to this bioseller meet. As I conclude, I welcome one and all uh, to this uh, bioseller meet today, and I wish you a fruitful day. Uh, fruitful day and business interactions. Thank you so much.
We are pleased to invite our dignified guest, Shri P. Satya, inaugural address. Again, I'd like to welcome each one of you to this survey. And as per the list before me, we have more than 150 buyers registered for this, which is a very good number. And also we have FPOs registered with us about 17 numbers. So we, so we got very good response for this by SLA meet. So before proceeding further, I just would like to uh, say a few things which are uh, the strengths of all of you, the, the spices stakeholders, all the strengths of the Indian spices sector as a whole. Uh, being very active stakeholders in spices industry, you all must be knowing that India is number one country when it comes to spices production, spices uh, export as well as consumption. So this, this is one of the strengths. And if we look at the other strengths, even in the production plan, no other country has this much variety of spices to offer. Uh, out of the 100 and plus uh, spices listed in the International uh, Standards Organization, India has more than 70 of them. We, we grow more than 70 varieties uh, of spices. No other country in, 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 in the world perhaps would be uh, having this much wealth. So that is our strength. And another thing is, even within a particular spice, we have plenty of varieties. Like, uh, we have 20 plus varieties of just chili alone. So that is another important thing. So we have Ramnad Mundu chili which is a GI tag. And again, since it is Ramnad Mundu chili, I'm, I would like to thank the, the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University in this regard because we requested two years back Tamil Nadu Agriculture University to work and take it forward, uh, highlighting the potential of Ramnad Mundu chili for a GI tag. It was kindly accepted by the previous Vice Chancellor and uh, uh, we also helped uh, to a limited extent uh, in that process and that process resulted in GI tag to Ramnad Mundi Chili last year. So, so we have plenty of positives, I mean we have in terms of varietal strength, in, in terms of unique varieties, we have 30 plus GI tag spices in India which reflects the uniqueness of Indian spices. Each variety is different. Each uh, region has some distinctive uh, properties to offer in terms of spices grown there. And uh, I talked about India being a leader in exports also. Last year we have exported spices worth 4 billion US dollars. That is more than 31,000 crores of rupees. Uh, if you look at the contribution in terms of horticulture exports from India, spices contribute to 37 percentage of the total horticulture exports from India. But if you consider the area wherein spices are cultivated, it's only say 4 percent, 3.1 percent of the total horticulture area. 3.1 percentage of the total horticulture area uh, mean spices, but it contributes to 37 percentage of the particles exports. And uh, coming to the production, in uh, spices production in India, we, last year we have crossed 1 point, uh, sorry, 11 million, 11 million metric tons of, in terms of our spices production, 11 million metric tons if I, if, I, if I have to reflect it in terms of uh, lakhs, it will be 111 lakhs metric tons. So we produce a huge quantity of spices. Almost each and every state in India 
offers few spices. That is another thing. It is it's available in every state. Spices are grown in every state. Spices are cultivated even in the remotest pockets. And uh, we have seen in, in, in remote areas in Arunachal Pradesh bordering China. Also, uh, people are in, in these regions also people are resorting to spices. In fact, in Arunachal Pradesh we have a positive example to quote. Many of the farmers who were earlier doing poppy cultivation, they have switched over to cardamom, large cardamom cultivation. So, spices offer livelihood opportunities even in the remotest areas and thereby contribute to the socio-economic development in the region. Prospects for the, for the spice industry or the prospects for the global spice trade. It is estimated that the global spice trade is currently worth 15.2 billion US dollars and in the next 10 years it is expected to grow at 4% CAGR. And India by its uh, very strength of uh, varietal diversity as well, our export base is so huge. Right now we have a registered export base of 9,300 exporters in the country out of which about uh, 900 10% so to say, 10% of the total exporters are manufacturing exporters. And uh, many of you would be exploring many, uh, many of the neighboring countries for exports. Uh, we import nearly 75% of the total exports, the top 10 importing countries. So if you, and our products are reaching to 180 destinations. So what I would like to highlight here is the opportunity that is uh, opportunities that are lying in other countries to boost our presence, to boost our exports. We have made a beginning. We have reached out to many various destinations, but the volume of uh, export is not as strong as we do to China. So there is great scope to increase our exports in various uh, other countries. Because most of the buyers and sellers of this buyer seller meet, they are from Tamil Nadu. Uh, Tamil Nadu is uh, having a, an eminent uh, position in terms of uh, uh, spices export. And out of the 900, uh, out of sorry, out of the 9,300 exporters uh, in the spices sector, 1,643 are from Tamil Nadu. So nearly say 17-18 percentage of our total exporters base is from Tamil Nadu. And we have 88 manuf registered manufacturing exporters operating from Tamil Nadu. And if we consider the exports, uh, that spice export from the state of Tamil Nadu, considering the exports that are happening through the ports located within Tamil Nadu, including uh, Chennai, etc. Uh, the, the, the export volume comes to be around 21 percentage of India's total exports. So the ports in Tamil Nadu contribute to 21 percentage of total spices exports of India. So, so we are uh, uh, operating, we are uh, having this uh, buyer seller meet at a very important location for Indian spice trade. Uh, Perhaps the, that is the reason why we have got uh, excellent uh, support and uh, level of participation in this bioseller meet. I have already mentioned about the opportunities lying in the GI uh, spices and I have mentioned about the Ramnaduram Mundu Chili wherein the joint initiative of Spices Board and the TNAU has uh, uh, with main credit to TNAU that has brought uh, uh, the GI tag to, to this particular species. And in Tamil Nadu, the major spices exported from Tamil Nadu, if, if you look at it, they are chilli, turmeric, pepper, small cardamom, curry powders, masalas, ginger, spice oils and oleoresins, garlic, coriander, tamarind, etc. These are the spices which are going mainly from Tamil Nadu and to countries like 
USA, Indonesia, Philippines, New Zealand, etc. And Spices Board also has a limited presence uh, in, in, in Tamil Nadu. We have a regional office at Chennai, we have a, an office at uh, Erode also, and we have a Spices Park at uh, Shivaganga. And in this park, we have established common processing facilities, and also we have made available plots to the entrepreneurs to set up their own manufacturing units. So some of the plots are still vacant. So uh, any of the uh, entrepreneurs who are interested to start your own unit in a spices park, you are welcome to take the opportunity and start your unit there. And similar to this, we have, for your information, similar to this initiative uh, that we, the spices board has had at uh, uh, Shivaganga, uh, we have eight spices parks established in various states, uh, in the states of uh, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, uh, etc. Preparedness Index, EPI, we call it EPI, Export Preparedness Index, which was published for the year 2022. Tamil Nadu has ranked number one in the country. So, nine. So, which shows the strength of the export performance and the uh, preparedness of the supporting structures in the, of the sector at the country level and also I have touched upon the, the strengths of uh, spice industry in Tamil Nadu. Now, would that mean that the sector is uh, not having any challenges? No. We have uh, major challenges facing the industry be it in the availability of uh, quality planting material, uh, be it in the availability of uh, exportable surplus which is desired by the importing countries, then in the form of meeting, the, 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 the challenge of meeting the very stringent uh, norms prescribed by the importing countries on the spices quality and safety. So these are some of the challenges. Then the challenges in the supply chain. In, in aggregation, in uh, storage, warehousing facilities, credit support. So we are, in, across the supply chain, we have uh, challenges facing us. And uh, the government of India has launched various steps to address these challenges as well. It is not that these challenges are left unattended to. The government has taken so many steps and launched so many programs and schemes to address these challenges. And many of the, those uh, avenues to, to, to tackle these challenges will be discussed in the technical sessions and during your uh, interactions as well, uh, program and DEH program, District as Export Hub. Under these two programs, focused efforts are taken at the cluster level to boost exports. And across the country, uh, more than 700 clusters have been, 700 districts have been identified. Each district is linked with uh, uh, potential products for export. And in that line, uh, I would like to mention here that Tamil Nadu, for spices, has got three districts. Three districts for uh, very many spices, including cardamom, erode for turmeric, and bindical for kill garlic. Coming to uh, fostering innovations in the sector, research and development. Research and development, as you know, is very important for a sector like uh, spices because right now, out of the total exports, uh, the export of value added products is, is about 50 percent. We still do our business in bulk form, uh, about 50 percent. Half our business is on bulk form, half our business is on value added form. But we have fully realized that the future lies in the business on value added forms. We have to convert uh, more of the bulk commodity into, into value added pro products because the per, per unit uh, realization of profit is much more when we talk about the value added products when we compare it with the bulk product. First this, to, to foster this particular, uh, to strengthen this particular aspect, Spices Board has uh, started setting up incubation centers, a kind of uh, foster centers to, to, to guide the new ideas and guide the new entrepreneurs to, to 
develop new products and processes for uh, spices sector. So the first such uh, incubation center we have set up jointly at the CFTR, Mysore, which is a Center for Technology Research Institute, Mysore. And that uh, EOI was issued few months back, expression of interest. We have got a few applicants, but still it is open. So if any of you are interested, please look for the Spices Board's uh, announcement calling for EOI, which may come in the next month or so. I have already mentioned that uh, this particular uh, bioseller meet, the, the basic purpose is to provide business engagements by bringing the buyers as well as the producers uh, on a clam common platform. So, so many buyers and sellers may not come to a common platform on your own unless such programs are organized. So, through these things and, and we also help uh, you carry these uh, contacts in a document form so that you can maintain your contacts in future. And also we have started uh, to, uh, I have seen two of the WhatsApp groups were in active uh, exchange of information about availability of material and requirement which is getting exchanged on the, those two WhatsApp groups. So I think you are all, act, you, you have already become active in that sense. So I would like to again uh, welcome you all for this uh, event and would, would like to wish you all a great day and a very fruitful business meetings today. Thank you all. Uh, historical call, uh, the most respected uh, Shri B. Sakyan IFS, uh, Secretary Spices Board India. Actually, uh, Mr. Sakyan is not new to us because he is one of the proud alumni of the Tamil Nadu Agricultural University and uh, that was from the Forest College and Research Institute. So, right, 1985 it started and uh, something around the, uh, including the ongoing students, uh, one of the proud alumni who achieved is uh, uh, Mr. Sakyan. Um, so, uh, thanks for uh, considering Tamil Nadu Agricultural University for organizing this uh, important buyer seller meet of spices. Welcome you sir. I'm really proud to note that you are director for the one and only Cardamom Research Institute and I was told it is only one national level institute is available to take care of Cardamom and uh, it's headed by her. And uh, thanks for coming to TNAU. Again, um, I, I join with everyone in welcoming the member spices board, uh, Shri Tirumurugan, uh, a leading uh, a farmer in uh, Teni and uh, Itiki district. And uh, again, uh, like uh, uh, Dr. Somo Sundaram is sitting here. Dr. Somo is taking care of the Agribusiness Directorate and you know this Agribusiness Directorate is playing a pivotal role in creating lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of startups and you know like uh, they are doing a wonderful job. We have got uh, seven centers in uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University and uh, four is taking care of uh, kind of uh, um, agri-related agri products, one in horticulture, one in forestry and a uh, few more centers are yet to come so that we are working on it. So this is about the status of that. Uh, so already like uh, uh, both uh, 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 Dr. Emma as well as uh, Mr. Sapien, both of them, uh, they have given lot of statistics on the spices. My compliments, especially you know, when I saw this book, it was amazing to look at. They have really taken so much pains to prepare this book. You know, with this, they have given the address of all the buyers and also the people who wanted to do export by uh, um, by selling and uh, buying kind of things. Uh, so this kind of directory is really, really important. If I remember correctly, even our organic department has produced one such directory, directly giving the information of all the organic producers. This kind of information will definitely be helpful in connecting people with one another. And one more important thing which I noticed here is the number of buyers registered for this meeting is much more higher than the number of people who are producing. So which is again a welcoming sign. So for the producers that are produced, already there is an opportunity for buying all the producers that you are going to produce. So that again is an important note I am taking it. And I am very happy to learn that already two WhatsApp groups are very active and you have already started putting your requirements and then showcasing the quality of the producers that you are taking. So this is also very, very important. So that way this meeting is going to be uh, very prominent and uh, very useful. And you know, India is um, a kind of a land of um, uh, diversity. We, we enjoy uh, 
uh, unity in diversity, that's how we say it. So the diversity in terms of climate, the diversity in terms of uh, uh, kind of uh, um, altitude and also the landscape, everything, this makes us to grow more and more spices. As everybody said, out of 109 spices globally grown, India alone is producing more than 75 spices, which is very, very uh, unique and important. This actually uh, this, uh, tells or gives the title to India as the land of spices. So it's very, very unique that India is producing so many spices. And not only that, it is indigenous to India as well. The spice production is indigenous to India as well. It is integral part of our cultural ecosystem, then economic ecosystem and agricultural landscapes and also markets. And you know, like uh, uh, we can even say our country's identity is spices. When, when the COVID came, uh, you know, India was less affected because we have been using lots and lots of spices which actually boosted the uh, immune power in the, in the system. And you know, there were a lot of COVID uh, uh, kind of boosters have been developed and the, the spices played a major role. Even very recently, I've just seen uh, the spices are playing a vital role in keeping our health conditions in a proper way. I I just read an article about, the, you know, most of the people, if you just go scan yourself, you will find the fatty liver. It's a common, common problem. More than 80% of the people will be found with the fatty liver. It is not a disease, but the uh, fat accumulates on the liver. So, for which um, the article says that there are four important spices you need to take at least to two to three times in a week. That will actually resolve all the issues. One spice is like uh, the base is uh, kind of a uh, amla. Amla is not a spice, but it's uh, it's the base. Then on top of it, there are four spices they are including. One is the fresh coriander leaf, a handful of fresh coriander leaf, and then one spoon of cumin, and then add it with the kind of a small piece of um, uh, turmeric. And I forgot one more spice. I, I forgot. So those are the things which you need to ground it and take it as the juice two times or three times in a week. Your fatty liver problem will be solved. I just read an article in uh, some magazine. So it was. Uh, the, I thought it is a apt uh, place where I can share this kind of things to showcase the importance of spices. And uh, again, in the Indian cuisine, you know, like we will never forget adding spices. It uh, adds to the flavor, taste, the look, and whatnot. So we cannot, without spice, Indian food cannot be prepared. So that is the way it is. It is also found in a new, uh, nutraceutical, Ayurvedic, cosmetic, allelopathic. Everywhere you can find a place in this. And already, uh, Satyan was saying that one fifth, that is twenty percent of the share in the global production is from India. We are very proud. So so we alone are contributing to 20% of the spice production, uh, which is more than 11.14 million tons. And uh, because this is mainly because of the varied climatic conditions. And you know, the major states that are contributing to the spices is um, it's Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu also contributes, uh, and then Kerala um, and uh, comes to Karnataka. Major states, these are the major spice growing states. And as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, we are the third largest producer of pepper and cardamom. So first one is uh, uh, Kerala, second one is Karnataka. And uh, I've seen the beautiful exhibit of the spices and, and their products, value-added products. I found saffron amongst that. You know, saffron is one of the important spice which gives a lot of value. No, one, once upon a time we have been really worried about, about our food security. Now we are producing more than 100 and, uh, 330 uh, million metric tons, so our uh, food security issues are solved. But the thing is, now we want to make our farmers really economically sound. For which the horticultural crops, especially the importantly, the spices are uh, very, very uh, crucial, and we need to increase the uh, production of spices by expanding the area under spice. There are many ways, you know, in coconut gardens, I was just uh, talking to OVF sir, like uh, in, in the coconut gardens, they are growing nutmeg, it's at the 1 is to 1 ratio, they are growing nutmeg, it gives additional income, better utilization of the space and also all the natural resources including uh, kind of uh, sunlight and so on. So this is the way we are just trying to uh, increase the area under, under spices. I was just talking about the saffron. And uh, you know, we have uh, signed an MOU with the Shari Kashmir University. From there, our particular dean and a team went and then they brought some planting material. They are testing, testing it in various places.
places like in Uti, Kodekanal, Yedkar and all and it is giving a wonderful result. We are getting nice saffron. Now we are in the process of uh, um, uh, finding out the standard operating protocols for increasing the uh, productivity under our conditions, you know, under high elevated conditions in Tamil Nadu, how to introduce this new crops which will yield a higher price for the producers that they are making. So that is how we are now trying to do it. And now also we are trying to analyze the quality. The quality of the saffron produced here in Tamil Nadu, the quality of uh, saffron produced in Kashmir, what is the difference? And if so, like what are the uh, conditions that makes the difference? So those kind of analysis are happening before we introduce saffron as a new crop uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu. So this is also one of the things which we are uh, taking it up. So now like uh, we uh, mainly uh, we are concentrating on the export. When we are concentrating on the exports, it is good agricultural practices are the major things you know we have to have residue free material available for export not only really for export what is happening to the Indian market for that market also we have to produce residue free material which is very very important so for that also we are taking lot of research in uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University so as we said like in terms of export chili is uh, the first one which is uh, occupying almost 33 percent and cumin and all the other other things and uh, it is exported to many destinations uh, um, uh, almost uh, all over the globe as uh, Mr. Sakir was saying more than 120 countries Indian spices are getting exported. So in Tamil Nadu we have only 1.1 lakh hectares and with the production of 1.1 lakh tons of spices especially the spices major spices includes uh, the turmeric. Turmeric means uh, it is uh, hub, uh, the, the major location where the turmeric is grown is E road. So E road uh, plays a provincial role. One thing is we, we were the pioneer in producing these things but the patenting was done elsewhere. So we have to really take care of those things and we have to work on those lacunas as well. Another important thing is tamarind. Tamarind is again grown mostly here in Tamil Nadu and then chilies, garlic, ginger, coriander, black pepper, small cardamom, clove and nutmeg. These are the spices which are grown mainly by the Tamil Nadu farmers. We have a lot of importance. Some of the uh, research activities are going on. In I was saying like we are helping the people in getting GI tag and especially uh, uh, GI uh, obtained from uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. Not Mumichili and then Kode Kanal Ma Marai Pundu. So these are Virudhinagar Samba Chili, another one is Vilati Kulam Mundu Chili. In this two we have already filed the uh, GI pattern in GI curry leaves. You know that uh, Chengamu they used to say. Ch or uh, Chengamu that they play. I don't know whether it has been filed. It's already filed. So that, that has been already filed. So we are working on that. Another important activity what uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University is taking up is FPO linkage. We have organization are mainly working on the uh, these uh, spices and uh, plantation crops. So coconut, the spices alone, uh, six uh, farmer producer organization. So it's a kind of a very sweet tamarind variety we are releasing this year. We have already released this year. And some of the new technologies developed from Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Mr. Sakir was saying about the planting material, lack of quality planting material. So we are working on many crops, especially in case of turmeric, we are working with the planting material produced during by single bud rhizome. So what is the advantage of this uh, particular variety? One thing is the quantum of planting material required is becoming very lesser, almost just one third. We will use only 625 kilograms per hectare of the planting material against 2000 kilogram per hectare in the normal rhizome. So it is single butter rhizome technology. In addition to that, the yield advantage of 25% was also noted. Second thing is integrated nutrient management and fertigation technology. This was again developed for turmeric which again was giving lot of leverage to the farming community. So my special thanks to the Spices Board for taking this initiative, joining hands with TNAU. Thank you so much and I'm sure this day is going to be a wonderful day for every one of us and I'm going to, uh, I'm already seeing that the actions are on and people are going to get a lot of benefit out of this particular meeting. Thank you so much for the great opportunity. Thank you ma'am.
second chain on I request Dr. I request Spices for India. Respect as an inspiring uh, source for all of our uh, staff in the university and dynamic vice chancellor, the first woman vice chancellor of the entire country. Our honorable and esteemed professor, madam. Uh, our own alumni, very loud uh, and affectionate uh, personality to Tamanad Agriculture University, the Secretary of uh, the Spices Board, uh, Mr. Satyan Ayapas, the esteemed board member, uh, uh, Spices Board, Mr. Thirumurugan, uh, the Director of uh, Cardamom Research Institute, uh, Madam uh, Dr. A.B. Uh, Rema Street, and my beloved uh, university officers, uh, uh, Director Cox, Dr. D. Suresh Kumar and uh, Dr. A. Raviraj, Dean Agriculture Engineering, our most beloved and uh, honorable board members of Tamarad Agriculture University, uh, Mr. Uh, C. D. Kumar sir, and our former uh, board member, uh, the progressive farmer, well-known farmer of this Kungu tract, uh, Mr. Ovia Somasundram sir, and uh, the Deputy Director of uh, Horticulture, and also the Assistant Director General of Farm Trade, uh, Srimadhi Mary uh, Ratnambal Madam, and uh, uh, the Deputy Director Planning and Coordination, Sri Nitin uh, Jo, and uh, the other scientists, and also our uh, um, our own alumni uh, turned uh, entrepreneurs and successful spice growers, uh, uh, Dr. Palneshwar, Dr. Saravanan and uh, I could see many faces, um, one more, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, the distinguished uh, uh, scientists of Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, the uh, uh, university officers and the various heads of departments from spices and aromatic crops and other uh, departments of horticulture and uh, our scientists and also the members from uh, Directorate of Agribusiness Development Family and also most importantly, the dynamic uh, uh, team, uh, Spices Board, functioning at Tamil Nadu, uh, headed by Mr. Ramalingam and also Mr. Ganagadiliman, the ISCAT directors, and also uh, their team. And uh, the very important uh, um, uh, part of this uh, buyer seller meet, the progressive buyers and also uh, successful growers of spice. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, on behalf of university, uh, we welcome you all for this uh, wonderful event wherein we are going to transact uh, tons and tons of uh, uh, spices that are grown in both uh, uh, Tamil Nadu and also adjoining Tamil Nadu, that is uh, the EDP district, Kerala and Vainar. So, uh, it's my uh, great opportunity uh, and uh, uh, I'm privileged to propose the vote of thanks. So, when uh, Mr. Kanakadilivan approached us, that we are looking for a space for a spices, uh, this buyer seller meet. Uh, we requested them to contact our Honorable Vice Chancellor. And incidentally, uh, our uh, secretary uh, attended one meeting very recently, Articultural Meet, International Conference as a chief guest. And uh, uh, Madam is, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam is kind enough to host this institute immediately. All the time, our Vice Chancellor, Madam, is encouraging and in uh, the midst of her busy schedule, you can see Madam herself uh, volunteered to be a part of this uh, program that shows that the interest and the uh, enthusiasm she has on the farmer's part. And after the assumption as Vice Chancellor, Madam has brought a lot of new initiatives to go to no other such initiatives in anywhere in the agricultural universities of the country. The first, first and foremost is linking the farmer producer organization. Uh, and that is a very, very welcoming thing and uh, 
more than uh, 1 lakh plus 1 lakh 20,000, 30,000 farmers are directly connected to agricultural university and they are getting benefited. Regional wise, uh, headed by our uh, beloved uh, director cards, we have recently conducted four regions meet where all the farmers, uh, farmer producer organization and farm FPCs, farmer producer companies, they were uh, clustered and then uh, uh, we, we are proposing lot of new initiatives and uh, promoting startups, entrepreneurships and also market linkages. And we are advising as told by our honorable vice chancellor, more particularly the business linkages. We propose a business model and then uh, many FPOs are seems to be uh, sick and, uh, and we want to strengthen and then economically uh, we want to empower them. So that activities we are taking up. And another important thing, Madam is so keen and uh, uh, kind to look after the welfare of the farmers. So the government of Tamil Nadu is having the exclusive uh, uh, department that is the department of agriculture and farmers welfare. Really this university is taking care of the farmers welfare through one student, one farm family. All our agriculture graduates are connected to farm families so that some may get connected to spices growers uh, also. So you will have a hand holding and continued support in future. These few informations I want to share. Like that so many new initiatives Madam has take up, taken up. Like a Flipkart and Amazon University is, uh, has started in the Tamil New Year, uh, April 14, Sitri Vandanikin. We have started with the, uh, I mean, uh, by the, uh, this is inaugurated by our honorable agriculture minister. Uh, this TNIO Agricard, TNA Agricard, farmers can order any inputs or any produce or any seed material from the university. Straight away it will be made available to their doorsteps. So this is a very great initiative for which uh, a lot of uh, background works have been done uh, under the agent, I mean, uh, support of our director of research by the guidance of our honorable vice chancellor. So I can quote many things, but want of time, it's my duty to propose only what of time. So amidst of their busy schedule, our honorable vice chancellor, we know uh, yesterday a madam was at Chennai, I was also at Chennai. Madam is uh, um, uh, attending so many programs, even then, uh, uh, Madam has allocated some time for this uh, promoting this program, this buyer seller meet, for which on behalf of uh, uh, Spices Board uh, and also on behalf of the Directorate of Agri Business Development, we professionally thank Madam for your uh, presence and also encouraging uh, uh, this uh, presidential address. And second thing, our uh, uh, below the alumni and also strong supporter of uh, uh, the spices development in the country, our honorable secretary, and he has very good friends, uh, Dr. Umesh and Dr. Kobal also here. So, uh, 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 during his first visit, he visited our directorate and told a lot of encouraging uh, ideas and also the possibilities of collaborating with the spices board and DNA in future. So, uh, he is kind enough to host this uh, program here and uh, that team is very effectively uh, scheduled everything since the last two weeks. They were uh, uh, continuously uh, involved in all these programs. So, starting from the secretary sir and to his entire team, on behalf of Kamala uh, Dekhati University, I officially thank you sir for your uh, gesture and also presence here. And uh, from, uh, Dr. A.B. Ramas team madam, madam is always uh, with a smiling face, encouraging and uh, supporting all the programs uh, 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 that we have scheduled today. After this program, we are having the technical session. Uh, the three uh, presentations are going to happen. After that, by tea break, then we will have the business session. The, all the various committees who are involved for the past one week, uh, even though I was in uh, some leave on personal reasons, our team, headed by our professor uh, Dr. Sundareswaran, and Dr. Murlidharan, Dr. Sandeshila, and Dr. Murugandhi, they continuously to work with the support of our dynamic uh, uh, Executive Director and CEO, Mr. A. V. Jnana Samantham and his team, all the DAPD family in association with the Spices Board has programmed today's program in a very fitting manner for which also I am thankful to various committees and the heads of the committees. And uh, I thank our university officers starting from uh, EO, that is the estate officer, whose parent is all for conducting this program and also Director NRM for the uh, providing the space for uh, that is the uh, Golden Jubilee Hall and also director crop management. They are not available, they are on tour and uh, different programs, government programs. So they could not participate. They conveyed uh, their wishes and uh, in Freeman Hall they were spared uh, the, uh, the head of the department, science and also head of the department, Nagarani 
am very much indebted to them and also all the support rendered by the Directorate of Research Sanitary and also Hospitality and everything. And nice food arrangements have been made by the well-known caterers of the university. For, for them also I am very much thankful. I thank the present media, some of the press reporters, the lady reporters, they have also participated in the program. And uh, the Directorate of Extension Education, Director of Extension Education, who is kind enough to cover the entire program, media coverage, and Mr. Ayya Sami is covering, and also our former university photographer Ilango and also Mr. Pragas is here to cover the entire program. So, uh, I profusely thank the, uh, uh, the uh, buyers and sellers for sparing our time, traveling from a distant places and being a part of it, a full hall with all the buyers and sellers. I hope that our mission is accomplished and I hope that today's program will be a very successful. And thanks to everyone, if I missed everyone, kindly travel with me, this is my ignorance and I thank everyone once again. Thank you all. Thank you.